Hey, what's up, man? I have a super mega shout-out series that can gain you a lot of exposure. Be sure to check out if you're interested. Hey, how about you go kill yourself? Hello and welcome to a video about shout-out competitions. They seem to be getting more and more popular. I would know this because they're, uh plaguing my comments section. Okay, if you don't already know um, what a shoutout is on YouTube, it's basically where a channel sends their audience to another channel saying, hey, this channel's pretty good. You should subscribe to them. They get more subscribers, right? They get more people watching their videos. Um, but uh, it's evolved into something much more uh, mutated. People have turned it into a, a competition, um, a weird twisted competition. Basically, people would, uh, make videos called, like, Shout Out Competition, Shout Out Sunday, Week 23. So people would flock to these videos, uh, hoping for a shout out. They would hope for some exposure. In these shout outs, if you followed a certain set of rules, uh, maybe the host of the shout out would choose you for their next shout out. So the rules are pretty benign as, uh, as the actual shout outs themselves. Rule one is usually subscribe to them, uh, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Next one is stay active, or whatever the fuck that means. It could mean comment on all their videos, it could mean like all their videos, but how would they know if they're active? on their channel. Like, maybe you're watching all the videos, but you would only fucking know that if they like them in comments. I mean, you could e you could comment on their video and like it, but you don't have to watch it. Sub to the winners. Uh, this makes no fucking sense, because the purpose of the shoutout is for the winners to get more exposure, to get an audience, a bigger audience. The purpose of a subscription is to keep in touch with all their newest videos so you can watch them. But YouTube has become so detached with reality that a sub is just another number like hell yeah i got 100 subscribers hell yeah but how many people of those are actually watching your videos and actually liking your videos which is actually what matters on youtube so basically the people who are associated with the shout out competition are only subscribing to the winners because it's in the fucking rules they're not doing it to watch the winner's videos, they're doing it so they can get a shout-out, so they can get more pointless subscribers. The fourth rule is, uh, tell them that they sent you. Now this applies to the shout-out Sundays videos that are, uh, weekly. Basically, you go to their channel, uh, go to their shout-out video and say, uh, oh, this is the rule, I go to the winners, comment on their newest video, uh, so-and-so sent me. This really only provides uh, publicity for the host of the shoutout competition. That extra comment doesn't fucking matter at all for the winner. That's all it does, really. Now how these rules um, tie into the uh, grand scheme of things that just really tips my titties is the fact that some of these shoutout hosts go to other people's channels and advertise their shitty shoutout competition. They usually list the rules, but before that, they uh, have to say, Hey man, I liked your vi- By the way, shout-out competition. They completely disregard video. They don't watch it at all. They just comment. They go straight for the comment section, which completely defeats the purpose of YouTube and the comments section. Now imagine a person hosting this shout-out competition and searching some bullshit buzzword like CSGO funny moments and is going through these videos and commenting on some desperate YouTubers um, shout out competition, copying and pasting this throughout all these desperate poor souls videos and hoping that they go there and subscribe to them because that's in their rules. It's really pathetic and it's a disgrace to YouTube because it just defeats the entire creative purpose that YouTube holds. The whole thing is a scam most of the, t most of the time because uh, the hosts of these shoutout competitions are usually uh, relatively small YouTubers, like 1,000 subscribers, 200 subscribers, 500 subscribers. It would really only make a difference if the host of the shoutout had a good number of subscribers. I'm talking like 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 subscribers. 
or more. But then again, there's not a lot of people who do that at that size. But overall, I would say, uh, instead of trying to manipulate people into these scams or trying to enter these shout-out competitions in desperate hopes of getting a larger audience, I would say, um, try to spend more time, uh, making great videos and just thinking of unique and creative ideas to just liven the slowly dying toxic YouTube community. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm Rococo. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, take care.